Linux. People swear that AMD drivers are the best when it comes to Linux. But what about gaming? And how does gaming in Linux compare to gaming on Windows? In this video we will find out together what is the status of gaming on Linux using the top AMD card right now, the 7900 XTX. With the launch of Steam Deck, a gaming gadget that uses Linux at the base of its operating system called SteamOS, thanks to the reduced overhead of Linux and the incredible proficiency of Proton, it is said that some games actually run better on Steam Deck through Proton than on Windows. Proton is developed by Valve in cooperation with developers from Code Weavers. In summary, it's a compatibility layer for Windows games to run on Linux-based operating systems. And Wine is the same, a compatibility layer capable of running Windows application on several operating systems such as Linux or Mac OS. Without these two, running Windows games on Linux would be impossible. Today we'll put that to the test. In this video I'm not gonna compare the 7900 XTX to the 4080 Super in Linux. If you are interested to see this, let me know in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing to the channel to help it grow, thus increasing its visibility on YouTube. For this test, I'm going to use the Nobara Distro, a modified version of Fedora Linux. The easiest way to play games on this Linux version is to have them on your Steam client. You can literally choose any game that you have in your library, go to Manage, then click Properties. In the pop-up window, you have to go to Compatibility and then tick the checkbox that is displayed. When checked, you will have a drop-down available with the different Proton versions. Choose one, close the window and after, the installation button will be enabled and you can install the game in Linux. It's as easy as you just saw on the screen. My recommendation is to use a stable version, as the experimental or the beta one tend to have stability issues. For example, I was playing Helldiver 2 using the Proton experimental version and after some time it crashed. I couldn't do anything, it literally freezed and I had to restart the PC. This can be a bit frustrating as I observed that the experimental one was performing a bit better. Once you use a stable version then you are good to go, launching the game is as easy as in Windows, no difference at all. When using a stable version of Proton with the same graphic settings, Helldiver 2 is more stable on Nobara as opposed to the Windows version, at least on the 7900 XTX. On Windows it crashed on landing. Another thing that I observed is that the 7900 XTX is underpowered, at least this is what the overlay displayed showed. I saw that in games the GPU power draw stood at around 300 watts, way below the 365 watt that the Pulse version could cap at. So I decided to tune the card and set the memory to 2512, max frequency to 3030, did a mild undervolt of minus 30 resulting in a core voltage of 1120 increase the power limit to the max, in this case to 402 watts, and make sure to use the same settings in Windows. But does it work for day one game releases? Well, it worked for Outcast, a new beginning, a game that has just been released. I played the first version when I was a child, so hopefully this game is gonna be a good one. I just set the stable version of Proton and installed it. After it finished and compiled the Vulcan shaders, I started the game and checked if it's running for a few minutes. It started with no crash, but I need to play more to see if it's stable. When it comes to the performance, using the DirectX 12 version for both operating systems, have a look at a short side-by-side -side comparison. I'm just standing still, so don't read too much into it. More on the performance difference later. For other gaming stores like the ones from Epic or GOG, I recommend Heroic Launcher. You just need to log in, select the game you wish to install, select the Wine version and just install it. My recommendation is to first try Proton and if that doesn't work or crashes, go with Wine. Again, a stable version. Bear with me and let me show you why. In Cyberpunk 2077, when using ray tracing in combination with FSR, I observed that when using Wine, the game exhibits more texture anomalies than when using Proton. When it comes to performance, I didn't see any difference in this game. Maybe other versions don't have this issue. Let me know in the comments below which version is the best for this game. A bit harder to work with was Lutris, another game manager for Linux, as I had games on EA Launcher and Ubisoft Connect, and this one is the only one that can run them. 
as far as I know. The issue was that those games were bought on Epic Store, so I needed all running at the same time, but I couldn't use the same one version so I needed to find the correct version, and after that I managed to make them work. I think that was the hardest part, to connect those games launchers with Epic Store. I hope I didn't bore you too much with the previous sections, but now let's have a look at some side by side game runs between Windows and Linux. For the comparison, I tested only games that have a built-in benchmarking tool, as I'm not aware of how I could do in Linux what MSI Afterburner can do, meaning to create a file with the averages, the lows and so on for a given game run. Keep in mind to have a look at the frame time graph, as this is indicating if a game has stutters, as my capture card tops at 60fps at 1440p. This chart doesn't illustrate one thing. On Linux under 60 FPS, the games feel stuttery. You will need to enable vSync to have a better experience, as this makes the games feel smooth. 
at least the few that I tested. Now, to my surprise, there were games that run better on Linux. Assassin's Creed Mirage, Guardians of the Galaxy and Cyberpunk 2077 both without RT. Another thing that we can deduct from this chart is that Windows has an advantage when it comes to ray tracing. As games tend to be a bit faster on it, feel free to pause the video to have a better look at the chart. Averaging all the results from the previous chart, we see that Windows 11 leads Linux when it comes to gaming, at least in the games that I checked, and I think there is no surprise here. To be honest, I was not expecting such a tight race. To summarize, Windows 11 seems to perform better when enabling ray tracing in games. I didn't see a single instance where Windows lost, at least in the games that I checked. Don't get me wrong, it's not like on Linux you can't play games with RT, as you can see on the screen. This works well. The performance loss is on average between 10 and 20% compared to Windows. Unfortunately, in Cyberpunk 2077 we have issues when enabling RT. The lighting seems off in some parts of the game. Using a different version of Wine or Proton may help, but you need to find the one that has less glitches and performs as well. Looking at competitive games, Counter-Strike runs well and it doesn't need any compatibility mode. As I don't have a way to measure input latency, I don't know which OS is better for this game or any competitive game as having less latency is important. I hope that if Anti-Lag or even Anti-Lag Plus when it will be released is available then there will be no difference. I didn't test any other competitive game so I can't talk about the other ones. You can install Discord on Linux and enjoy a round or two of Counter-Strike if you want to try with your friends. And that's it. Like I stated at the start of the video, if you are interested in seeing a comparison between the 7900 XTX and the 4080 Super in Linux games, let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video or found it helpful hit the thumbs up button, drop a comment below and consider subscribing to the channel. Take care and hope to see you all in the next one.